Hello everyone! In this CSS Flexbox tutorial, I will be discussing the Flex Grow property of Flex Items. Flex Grow is by default set to zero. This means that by default, Flex Items do not get bigger to fill the empty space. Let me show you in preview. My two Flex Items are not currently taking up the entire space of their row within the container. If I want them to grow to fill up the entire space of that row, then I must use the Flex Grow property. If I give both flex items a value of 1 for flex grow, then the available free space will be distributed evenly between the two of them. Let me show you in preview how the flex items now take up the entire space of the container. If I give the bigger flex item with the ID of flex item large a flex grow of 2 and the small flex item with the ID of flex item small a flex grow of 1, then two thirds of the free space will be added to the width of flex item large and one third of the free space will be added to the width of flex item small. This is because we are now dividing the free space into three parts. If you wanted to make an exact calculation then you would need to know the width of the container and the widths of both flex items. We use the flex spaces property to set the width. Currently my flex container has a width of a thousand pixels. Flex item small has a width of 100 pixels, and flex item large has a width of 500 pixels. First, add together the widths of both flex items and then subtract that value from the width of the container. 100 plus 500 is 600. 1000 minus 600 is 400. So we are left with 400 pixels of free space. If we give flex item small a flex grow of 1, and flex item large, a flex grow of 2, then we are dividing our free space up into three pieces and then distributing it by giving two thirds to flex item large and one third to flex item small. So two thirds of 400 pixels is 267 pixels rounded and one third of 400 pixels is 133 pixels rounded. The new width of our large flex item will be 500 pixels plus 267 pixels, which is 767 pixels. And the new width of our small flex item will be 100 pixels plus 133 pixels, or 233 pixels. The shorthand for flex grow, flex shrink, and flex basis is the flex property. By default, flex is set to 0, 1, auto. With the value for flex grow listed first, the value for flex shrink listed second, and the value for flex basis being last. That's the flex grow of 2, the flex shrink of 1, and the flex basis as 500 pixels. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Flexbox flex grow property. Please subscribe to my channel Bootstrap CSS Girl for more tutorials.